In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate best color lab AI in your workflow with DaVinci Resolve. First, we're going to see some settings that are recommended to be used before we start integrating Color Lab AI. Then we're going to see the standard workflow, and then we're going to expand on it further by integrating custom node tree. So once you have installed Color Lab AI, there is really nothing you need to do on, um, you know, to link those two. They're like from the beginning, they're linked and they're going to work together as long as you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio and also as long as here in DaVinci Resolve Preferences and in uh, general uh, you have this setting here external scripting using local which is true by default right so you shouldn't really have to change this uh, unless you change it before just make sure that this is back to local okay there is one thing that i recommend you do when you are linking the um, uh, creator version of color lab ai and davinci resolve which is how to set your color management and and it's important not to use davinci color management so we will be color managing everything for you so what you want to do is you want to say that color science is davinci yrgb um, then timeline color space should be re white gamut and re log c right and because my display that i'm working on at the moment is an srgb display and i'm working on mac i have selected color space to be srgb and srgb and this is going to make sure that your um you know viewer um, looks exactly the same like color lab okay another thing that i also recommend is that you always say the 3d lookup interpolation should be on tetrahedral right so this is kind of one setting that 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 is um essential to do because it does you know make your lookup tables look a little bit cleaner okay so once you've done it you put uh, all the clips um you want to match on your timeline now it's important to understand following our davinci resolve integration is in one way that means that we cannot read what you did when you have uh you know been working in davinci resolve we're going to just read the clips and we're going to send you back the nodes so the recommended workflow therefore is that you actually use color lab ai at the beginning of your job and this is really how we intended it and how we designed it to be used so let's say you just have this scene and before you start working on the scene before you do anything you want to send it to color lab ai Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to go to Color Lab AI and there is really nothing you need to do in Color Lab AI or anything like that. What you want to do now is just you just press fetch from resolve and, you know, we're going to read the timeline. Everything's going to relink and you're going to be now um, having an alias, literally like a copy of your timeline on uh, your Color Lab AI. So first thing then you want to do is you want to color manage, which is super easy. You just select all the clips. In my case, this is going to be Ari Log C, right? So you just do that. And now, as you can tell, you see there is like, you know, variety of, of you know, like little exposure settings and everything's just happening. I'm going to like also show you a couple of strategies, you know, that, that you know, you can use and how to quickly get to good results. Um, one of the strategies, you know, that you can do is to use balance and show lot. So let me show you this. I'm going to go and select all of the clips and then I'm going to click here on the match tab and I'm not going to use any reference. I'm just going to use the feature called balance and I'm going to let the balance do its job. So what's happening now is, is you're analyzing all the shots and you're putting them into some sort of neutral setting, right? So you're trying to get a balance, right, uh, between the shots so that, you know, all the exposures are, you know, equal, the temperature, white balance, everything, you know, that you would normally do to kind of, some people call it like a technical pass as well. So we could call it like that as well. But, you know, I think the word balance kind of seems to indicate the best what's happening. So you see what we did now. So we basically, we went and we just, you know, 
applied you know really like you know like a neutral white balance to the shots we got the exposure right you know you see how this was a little bit underexposed you know we got it now to look better so everything you know the whole timeline now so you see for example this shot was a little under and a little too kind of warm and stuff you know so we got everything to feel like a more neutral and balanced right and that's really what what color lab does very well you know that's this kind of you know tedious process of technical grade you know really well for you so the next thing you do is then you go um for let's say a show light because you know show light really gives a lot of character to an image and that's what we want we want to give our uh, you know look some sort of character so it doesn't look like you know so neutral and i'm going to choose you know some of these warm lights and for example i can use this one or i can use this one or maybe this one let me see like this is a really nice one it's a little softer right and then what you do is you right mouse click and you say apply to all also you have to understand that these show lets on some jobs are predefined so you will probably be able to kind of choose something that's already predefined for you so there we go i have just now basically balanced everything applied a little lot right and i have a you know scene ready to be sent to da vinci result so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say just now, hey, go ahead and push to resolve. It asks me if I want to save it because I'm just demoing to you. I won't save it, but I recommend you do save. And now what we're doing is we're building a node tree on DaVinci Resolve. And that goes usually very quickly. And there we go. So what we have now is every shot. So basically this is your ODT that converts from log C to 709. Then we have a here a show light, which is basically what gives us this, you know, like a warm look. Then we have a, the main grade, which is the live gamma gain settings that you can see here that they have moved the dials right and then also you know we have the idt at the moment doesn't do much because it's log c log c so it actually looks pretty neutral and now yeah you got it you can basically go ahead and start working with it now we're going to expand uh, a little bit further on this functionality and what we're going to do is we're going to integrate custom node tree so for example i have this node tree that i like to use on this type of um, color grading project so basically it has a, like a, these three nodes on the top idt cdl and lot which is kind of my for you know my primary right and then i have a um, um, a connecting node and then qualifier nodes, right? And then I have a, a connecting node and then some window nodes. They're connected with a parallel node in between. And then I have an ODT at the end, which is my, you know, final output. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, take this node tree, which is saved here already, and I'm going to export it. So I'm going to say, hey, export this node tree. Um, I'll put it on a desktop. It's called Node Tree 2, right? And I'll export that. Great. So the next thing, then I'll go into Color Lab. In Color Lab in Project Settings, um, what we have is we have ability in DaVinci Resolve to select a custom node tree. So I'm going to go now say, hey, load the custom node tree. And this is my node tree two, right? I'm going to open that. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to tell Color Lab where is my IDT, CDL, LAT, and ODT going to go on what node uh, numbers. So we're going to double check that again on side here. So it's one, two, three, and 14, like IDT, CDL, LAT, and the 14. We need those four nodes. I will make a separate video that will explain the science behind this color. Uh, so here we go, one, two, three, and 14. Don't use this send all versions. This is not available to you in a creator version. This is coming in pro. Okay, great. So now I'm going to close this. Okay. Now I'm using this node tree. And now when I go and say push to resolve, look what's going to happen next. So we're going to go and update the timeline, right? But this time we're going to be using the custom node tree. So when I come here, now I get exactly the same result. Nothing has changed. But what's really beautiful is that I have already got all timeline populated with my node tree. So for example, I can now come here and I can say, okay, 
Um, now give me like, um, you know, for example, a little vignette, right? I'm going to soften this and I'm going to increase a little bit in size. And then I'm going to go and invert it and bring it down just a little bit. Okay, so let's like, like this, you know, just, you know, just apply nothing too strong maybe i went too far so what i do normally when my vignette is too strong instead of changing the grade i just change the key output a little bit so that way i get like a you know a better way to how to control it right like this okay so this is now my my um vignette here and by the way what you can do now is you can come here and select all of the clips right that you want to put this vignette on and i'm going to do this on all clips and then i'm going to say color and i'm going to say ripple node changes to selected clips and that is then going to automatically apply that same vignette to all of my clips so i have quickly then applied vignette to everything right now, for example, a client might say, well, you know, I like it, but can we just bring it down, you know, just a little bit like, you know, I want, you know, everything to be just a little bit moodier. You can say, yeah, sure, no problem. You can then go on maybe like with a little bit gamma, just bring it down. And again, you know, we're going to use the same trick. We're going to go on and shift click on everything, right? That could be your scene that you're working on at the moment. And I'm going to say color ripple node changes to selected clips and then that particular change is going to get applied to everything so it's a really fast way how to bring your overall grading into really beautiful ballpark feature okay so yeah this is just a, like a, a little um you know tips for you how to get you know most out of you know, DaVinci integration, but it's really simple. It works out of the box. Um, and now as long as you haven't, you know, renamed your DaVinci folder and you don't have some sort of custom uh, Python codes and stuff like this installed, it's always going to work, you know, just by pressing, you know, these buttons, fetch and push, and you should be, you know, saving yourself a tons of time, you know, for this first pass you know, getting everything into ballpark, you know, and before you even start, you know, proper grading. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe as we will be publishing more of tutorials like this. And if you have any specific questions or you'd like to see something you haven't seen before, just please put it down in comments below.